Hello everyone, welcome back to my tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to model this machine component using Creo Parametric. While drawing uh, any component, always draw the material addition feature first. Just go to the software, new, we are going to model as a solid model and part modeling. Untick this use default template, just click OK. Now we, our dimension are in mm, so choose di mm Newton solid absol absolute. Click OK. Now just go to the model. Now I'm going to draw this bottom feature. The length is 56 here, and the diameter is one of the in inner circle diameter is 16, and the outer circle diameter is uh, radius is 18, diameter is 32. Just go to the model. I'm take I'm taking the top plane go to sketch sketch view draw the center line click the right click then click the roller to confirm now just take this rectangle with this and create a rectangle with a symmetric and click the roller to confirm now this distance is 56 this distance is outer circle diameter that means 36 click this fit screen now we just want to make a circle this is outer circle inner circle similarly outer circle inner circle and click the roller to confirm now outer circle diameter is 36 inner circle diameter inner circle diameter is 16 change into 16 now delete the unwanted edges go to delete segment delete this edge similarly delete this side also now click the roller to confirm now the spring surface indicates that we can extrude this object. Now just click OK to confirm. Go to extrude. Now check the extrusion length. Extrusion length is 8 mm. Now just rotate your object. Make this a symmetric. This is 8. Press enter and click OK to confirm. Now next one is this rib portion I am going to draw. The height is 32 and 40 and 10 just go to here select the surface go to sketch sketch view take the reference for your sketch click close now we are going to make a symmetric rectangle for this make the center line go this take this rectangle symmetric then click the roller to confirm now this go to the model this height is 40 and thickness is 10 this one is 40 thickness is 10 now just click ok to confirm now go to extrude now just go to the model our extrusion length is 32 32 just click ok to confirm now just go to the this cylindrical portion we just want to draw this center uh, center point is uh, 32 from this uh, rib so just go here now this surface we can take as a reference go to sketch sketch view draw a circle here and one more circle and click the roller to confirm this distance it shows now we just want to make reference take this reference just close now this distance is 32 go to the model the inner diameter is 20 outer diameter is 30 
change this into 30 and this into 20 now just click ok to confirm now just go to extrude change the direction change this into 10 go to the model here it is 10 ok now just click ok to confirm now select the same surface go to sketch sketch view reference take this both the circle close and click ok to confirm now click ok just extrude this side extrusion also 10 click ok to confirm now we have done this uh, cylindrical portion now we just want to make this rib for this select the surface sketch sketch view take the reference of this outer circle and this edge this two edge also and close now take this line there are two points it will show one is mid of the circle another one is tangent point we just want to choose tan tangent and click ok and tangent and press the roller to confirm now again take the circle now just go to delete segment delete this unwanted segment now just press roller to confirm again press the roller to confirm click ok close now go to sketch edit sketch sketch view delete first make the circle and press the roller to confirm now just go to line select this point again select this point choose tangent line and press the roller to confirm again press the roller to confirm now we just want to make delete segment and delete here press the roller to confirm now we got this wing surface that means that we can generate just click ok extrude now this extrusion length is just change into reverse change the reverse direction extrusion length is 10 again just click ok to confirm now this portion also we have done now we just want to make this rib for this select this middle plane go to sketch sketch view take the reference close go to the line take this point and this point and press the roller to confirm again press the roller to confirm just click ok now we just want to make this push a feature by using a profile rib choose this profile rib it will take automatically but, but the direction it shows opposite we cannot make a ribbon opposite direction just change this direction now just go to the model this rib thickness is 12 press enter just click ok just standard orientation click this shaded with edges now we have completed our model
for features select this one appearance choose this one click this part click ok so we have done our model thank you for watching my videos please subscribe my channel for more videos if you have any doubt please comment me thank you